Hey, TNT community. It's time for Sweet Treats Friday. Sweet Treats Friday. And this is from one of our subscribers. Um, she asked if I would do a butternut pound cake. So we're going to do um, just a regular cream cheese pound cake with butternut flavoring, okay? So we've got our um, cream cheese right here, eight ounces, our three sticks of land and lake butter, our six eggs. That's the star of the show right there, that butternut flavor for our butternut um, pound cake. And I also, I'm also going to put some of my cake batter in. Um, that's a cake batter extract flavor in there. And then I've got three cups of my Dixie Crystal Sugar, three, cup, three cups of my um, uh, White Lily All-Purpose Flour, and that'll be it. We're going to put this um, butternut pound cake in the oven, and then I'm also going to do a butternut uh, frosting, mm, a cream cheese butternut frosting. That's what I'm going to do, a cream cheese butternut frosting. So let's get into this butternut pound cake. Okay, guys, so if you've seen me make um, pound cakes before, you know we start off with our butter. And I've got two sticks in already. That's our third stick going in. And we're going to combine this for about two minutes. And mix our butter for about two minutes here. Okay? Okay. Now we're going to go ahead on and put our cream cheese in. Just like that. Okay? Get all of it off of my package here. Okay. Get that together for a couple of minutes as well. Okay, now we're going to stop this, scrape down the sides, and then go back again like we did with our butter. Once you scrape down what's on the side, you want to go always go back and make sure that that's incorporated in with everything else, okay? Because when you scrape down the sides, you can see the difference that has not um, got incorporated with everything else. So that's how we do that. Let's turn this down, and I'm going to just pour my sugar in a little bit along. Kind of let it drizzle in a little. Just like this. gonna do we're gonna mix this cream cheese butter and sugar for about eight to ten minutes till it gets that creamy I like to say ice cream um, color eight to ten minutes okay we'll be back all right guys it's been about right at ten minutes and we mixed our batter now we're gonna put our six eggs in one at a time That's one that I spilled on me that's going in liquidy. <laughs> that's two. Three. And we're just mainly um incorporating our eggs to get, you know, till we uh don't see any more of the yolk. And then we put in number four. Okay. Number five. Just like that. Number six. Okay. All 
right, so I'm gonna stop this. Wait, let me make sure I got it in the right place. Right here. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we scrape down the sides here. This is the um, part that I want to make sure you guys see. We're about to put in our butternut flavor. Okay. I'm going to put in three. Let me see. I'm going to. Oops, my. Hold on one minute. Let me uh, open it up first of all. Okay, so me personally, I've never even heard of butternut uh, before. This was the first time I heard of it, so I had to order this because nowhere I looked around here had it. So we're going to see what we're working with today. I don't think this is what I, I don't think this is it, but I'm going to see something. Because I thought it's supposed to be like a, um, a certain color to it, but that was one teaspoon. I'm gonna put two teaspoons in here. And then I'm gonna put a teaspoon of my cake batter as well. Okay. Now, let us mix this together and see here. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I personally thought that it's supposed to change the color of your batter. But this is a clear flavor in here. This is the clear flavor, so I'm not even sure if this is... Uh, this is it, but anywho, it's in there, and we're going to go on with it. How about that? Um, now we're going to get ready to put our flour in. So I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to put in some of our flour and mix it. Okay. But yeah, guys, I thought this flavor, this butternut was supposed to be a certain color. So I might have not gotten the right, uh, the right kind. So we may have to do a take two on this. Cause one thing about me, um, ooh, I got to have it like it's supposed to be. Yep, I got to have it like it's supposed to be. So we're mixing up our flour, some of our flour. Okay, put in some more, like that. Okay. Combine in our flour. last flour. Let me scrape this down before we put that in. Want to make sure we got everything from around the sides like that. I know this smells good. I don't know um, what the butternut flavor is, but um, it certainly smells so good. All right, this is our last flour. Going in. 
That's it. That is it. Okay. Okay, let's put this to the side. And we're going to bring, bring you all right on down here with me. Right here. Oops. Right here, guys, is where we want to be. I've already greased. Our pan has been greased. And now we're just going to make sure all of this is combined in here. Just like this. All right, now we're gonna pour our batter in our pan. Now, let me say this, guys. I've seen a butternut cake made, and I've only seen one um, butternut pound cake. Now, the butternut cake that I saw, the flavoring was like an orange color, I believe it was. So, that's what I thought this was going to be. So, um, it's not. <laughs> it's a clear, this is a, uh, a clear uh, butternut flavoring. So, um, that's why I said we may have to do a take two because, um, I wanted to see that orange in this. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Yeah, I just wanted to see what it looked like. So, we're going to go with this and see. Okay, we're going to go with this and see how it um, tastes. And, because um, I had a... a I want to do a glaze to go on top of the a cream cheese butternut glaze. So, with that being said, um, this is what it says, vanilla butternut flavor. Uh, but it was not an orange color that I thought it was going to be. But um, we're going to see what it tastes like and uh, go from there. But this is our butternut pound cake. We're getting ready to put it in the oven on 325. I'm gonna cook it for about an hour and 10 minutes. Of course, I'm gonna check it at an hour and see how it is, but I'll let you know at the end exactly how long it took to bake when we bring it out, okay? So hold your horses. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Our um, butternut pound cake is buzzing. Oh, wow. Okay. That's our butternut pound cake. It has butternut flavoring in it. So, this is what I found out, guys. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's make sure that this is... Uh... Let's put our toothpick in. Make sure our cake is done. I cooked it on 325 for... Uh, you know, let's see it. Hold on. I cooked it on 325 for an hour and 10 minutes. Okay, let's see. Yep, our toothpick is clean. We're good. So, this is what I found out. Let me share with you. So, when I was asked to do the butternut pound cake, when I was researching, you know, the butternut squash is orange, so that's what I was looking for the flavor to have that orange butternut uh, look to it. So Eric ended up ordering me this vanilla butternut flavor here. And so it gives you that clear 
uh, it's the clear butternut flavor, but it still has the butternut, um, you know, taste to it. So that's what I'm assuming. We're going to let him try it and see. But what we're going to do now, I'm going to let, uh, let our cake cool. Let it cool. I'm going to bring you all back around here with me to our um, mixer here. Because what I want to do, I've already, I've been baking um, cupcakes. And so I had some extra cream cheese. Let's see here. Some extra cream cheese frosting right there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in one teaspoon of our butternut flavor in here just like that okay and then i also am going to put in a few pecans to go in our frosting because eric doesn't really like a lot of pecans so i'm not going to put a lot in just a few just a few okay and what i'm going to do is real quick like just combine this Flavor incorporated in there. That's all I'm, oh gosh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. It smells yummy, yummy. Okay, so that's all I want to do. Okay. Just combine that a little bit right there. I'm going to show you all real quick. Okay, guys, after our cake has cooled a while, I'm going to go ahead on and pour it on. Pour it out of our pan here. Okay. Oh, come on, baby. So that's our um, butternut pound cake. That's our butternut pound cake. That's the bottom of our pan. And I think I'm going to just flip it back over on the front side. But I want y'all to see it. That's the butternut pound cake right there. And then we're going to flip it back over on this side. That way we can see it from this angle as well. Okay? So this is our butternut pound cake. We're going to let her finish cooling because we want to be able to ice her, okay? Frosting her up. <laughs> we want to frost her. So we're going to let her cool and we're going to frost her. We're going to put a uh, cream cheese um, butter pecan frosting on here, okay? So hold your horse. Okay, guys. Our cake has cooled completely. It has cooled completely, and we're going to ice it. I went ahead on and turned it back over on this side to ice it, okay, for us. And then we're going to um, go ahead on and sample it and see how it tastes. Now, I want to say that the person that asked for this cake, her name is uh, Lisa Reynolds. And Lisa, this is a um, butternut cake but it has the clear flavoring. Now, I'm gonna say this. If you want me to do a butternut cake, I can do that. And I'm going to look for the orange flavoring because if you know butternut, it is orange, right? So, anywho. But I just wanted to say that, Lisa, if, uh, if this is not to your specifications, just reach back out to us. And um, because it's about you guys, we want to do what you want. That is our butternut pound cake with cream cheese peanut glaze. Okay, or frosting. Cream cheese peanut. No, cream cheese pecan frosting. That's what we got. <laughs> That is what we got.
All right, guys, here she is. Cream cheese butternut cake with cream cheese pecan frosting. That is beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to cut her open and let Mr. Eric tell us what she tastes like. How about that? First thing, let me bring you all over here so you can see. Well, hold your horses. I got to take my thumbnail. Hold your horses. All right, guys. It's time to cut her. It's time to cut her. This is our butternut pound cake. It has the clear vanilla um, butternut in it flavor, okay? So, let's see. We're going to cut a slice. For Mr. Eric, get into this cake. Get into this cake if you all can. I want you to see it on the side. Look at that. This is your butternut pound cake, and it has the clear vanilla butternut. All right. Okay, Mr. Eric, please so tell us what it's like. Josh, you ready for your slice? Hey guys, what's going on? When you said, hey guys, <laughs> I was looking for somebody to say, hey. <laughs> I oh, heard them out there, they said, hey. Y'all said hi, did you? Hi. Got some pound cake here. Boy, it looks good. Butter nut pound cake. Yeah, but. I'll it's all right. It's. Just because it ain't orange, it's fine. It still got the butternut flavoring, flavoring in it. it and I'm gonna cut it. It looks good. That icing is amazing. I had some of that earlier. It's amazing. Lisa Reynolds, if this is not what you want, please let me know and I'll get what you want, okay? And Miss Reynolds, if it isn't, try it. And you might take the place of the other one. But she gonna make another one though. I think I'd be with the red layer cake if she, if she didn't like this one. Yeah, Sometimes you just got to savor the yeah, flavor. Okay. Okay. This is good. Can you taste the uh, the butternut? Because when I did the icing and put I don't it, know what butternut's supposed to taste like. Yeah, I don't really either, but you can taste the flavor in there, right? I so, taste a lot of flavor, but I don't know if, which one is butternut. I can't even taste the um, vinegar. The vanilla. But, I, I didn't put vanilla on it. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm. It's good. Don't try to get embarrassed me in front of the people. Treat them. <laughs> no. I'm like, I don't I, know. I don't know how all these different flavors taste. I come in here and drink some of the, the extract. Then the next time I can tell you. Okay. Well, I know one thing. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's, you did a great job. It's a pretty cake. That's for sure. Um, mm, and it tastes good. And it's so moist. You don't believe me? That, that moist taste. That crushed off me. Mm -hmm. See that? They dropping stuff. We got it back and put them. Okay. He'll be coming around in a few minutes. This is what it looks like on the inside, guys. This is the clear vanilla butternut pound cake. Okay? This is it. I'm sorry, folks. I can't get her floor dirty. <laughs> yes, you no. can. I was just telling you that uh, you. No, I'm gonna take me a bite with the icing <laughs> and see if it complements the cake. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all to me. Don't y'all eat too much of the cake if you make it. Now I can eat three, four pieces and then be sick later on. But I'm not gonna do it. But it's wonderful. Amazing. There she is. There Ooh. she is. Butternut pound cake. Mm -hmm. And yes, I can taste. It's a flavor that I haven't tasted in the other right. pound cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a flavor that I've not tasted before. I knew I would get it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely. Guys, thank y'all so much for putting up with us. <laughs> 22 years of marriage. And, um,. Oh, it is coming up. What, mm -hmm. We got the next. We got the next. But um, thank y'all for watching. Um, 
and I we love when y'all ask me or him or whatever um, to do to do something, and I'm willing to try. Keep them coming in recipes. And uh, I am going to look for the orange flavor for the butternut because I, I know me, I won't be satisfied until I do it. If y'all like this video, please share. Please click the like button. Please um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when we upload videos. We thank y'all for watching today. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all so, 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 so much. And, oh, let me say this. The, um, the, uh, Mustard Fried Wings video that I just did. I couldn't think of the subscriber's name. Please forgive me. I, well, he went back and found it for me. It's it's Don. At Don Craig, I believe it is. You were the one asked about um, seeing your husband, I think, said what was the key to a good uh, frying chicken or good fried chicken. And I said it had to do with the oil. And so uh, we did the Mustard Fried Chicken. But that was at Don. Um, I believe that asked for us to do the fried chicken, so that was it. I, I couldn't remember the name, so he I said, I don't feel right not knowing names, and so we went back and found it. And also, with this uh, uh, butternut, it was Lisa Reynolds. So, this is what we did. Thank you, Miss Reynolds. <laughs> so, until the next time, let, let the, the journey, journey continue. continue. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>